what is my relationship to the state? There is no state. What is my relationship to the state? Here. Inside myself, there is no state. Here. Inside myself, there is no state. What is my relationship to the state. I had two attitudes toward toward the state. One was uh, to rail against it, to, to do, I've, I've been told that there is an Italian saying that it translated in English is, it's raining again, pig of a government. government which is uh, to, to basically just rail against the state. The other one which Henry David Thoreau expressed is to when he was released from jail and went out on, on his own on a hill he basically looked around and saw the beauty of the world and said here inside myself there is no state. myself there is no state here inside myself there is no state here inside myself there is no state here inside myself there is no state I do not want the state to be so important in my life that I forget to live. desirable for people to be able to pursue their own values, to have whatever ethnic values they want, provided they do it voluntarily and do not interfere with the freedom of others to do it also. You see, this is one component of a very much broader problem. You cannot achieve, in general, good ends by bad means. And the end, that end is corrupted when you use the wrong methods to achieve it. 
when the methods of force and coercion are, in my opinion, the wrong method, they're too corrupt. And odd, often, that just react against you. I have no quarrel to ethnic solidarity, of course, in the sense of helping one another, and no doubt, by a feeling of, of identification and of assisting one another. We want a society of variety and diversity. We want a society in which people can, can, can celebrate their own special ethnic background. But that's a very different thing from a society in which there is somehow, uh, uh, which somehow takes ethnic characteristics as a criterion for preference or lack of preference. That's the problem. You see, this is one component of a very much broader problem. You cannot achieve, in general, good ends by bad means. And the end, that end is corrupted when you use the wrong methods to achieve it. And the methods of force and coercion are, in my opinion, the wrong methods that do corrupt. And often, Don't you react think against true? you. Don't you think it's through ethnic solidarity that many minority groups were able to make advances in the American society? Not in the slightest. If you look at the way in which ethnic minorities made advances, it was not through ethnic solidarity. It was through the free market. You can take any group you want, whether you take, for example, the group obviously I've been closest to are the Jews. How did the Jews make their way? Only in the competitive areas of the American economy. How did the blacks make their way? primarily in the competitive areas. The laws, what have been the greatest hindrance, where are the areas where the blacks have been most hampered? In those areas where government has supposedly been doing something for them. You and I have the same objective. I'm on your side, but you're not. Thank you. <laughs>
just as we had separation of state and church, which led to peaceful coexistence among different religions after a period of religious wars. So the same applies to economics. If you separate the government from economics, you will have peaceful cooperation and harmony and justice among men. There should be no such thing as taxes. That's right. There should be no such thing as taxes. That's right. opposed to all forms of control. I'm opposed to all forms of control. I'm opposed to all forms of control. I'm opposed to all forms of control.